All right, I'm going to do a quick comparison between um, Blender rendering and optics, which is what this one is. This one right here, it's going to be optics, but it's in the standard version of uh, Blender versus the eCycles version, which is right here, and it's also employing optics, but it's still eCycles. All right, first, let's go ahead and render this scene with um, the standard version of Blender. And I got, got to set on 1024 passes and adaptive sampling. Render image, and I'm assuming this is going to take about a minute, maybe a little bit longer. I'm going to do this in real time. I'm not going to speed up the video. Now there, there is a little bit of a difference in shading and colors between E-Cycles and you know the standard version of Cycles. But the difference, the difference has to do with the optimization. They um, try to make E-Cycles more efficient by limiting the number of um, light ray bounces. Or at least that's the best I can understand of it. But that does tend to make the images look just a little bit different. And again, this right here is the standard version of Cycles rendered in optics. And I have two RTX 2060 Supers. Alright, it's almost finished. All right, took one minute and 19 seconds. Let's go over to E-Cycles. And again, with E-Cycles, um, it's in optics, but it's E-Cycles. And again, 1,024 passes. And adaptive sampling is turned on. All right, and the preset is set to medium. Like right here, you can click on this and it brings up your presets. We click render, image, and this should be quite a bit quicker. Now it's, like I said, it's gonna look ever so slightly different. And I'll be able to flip between the two so you can see which one, uh, what they look like. Let me turn those off. So now we can flip through them. That's uh, standard and that's e-cycles. Standard e-cycles. All right, now you can see it took 23 seconds in e-cycles. Now let's try to make it look as similar to the other one as possible. And I think I could probably change the preset from medium to high quality and that will probably make it look more like the original. Now it's going to make it take longer. Render image and we'll see what this does. Yeah, this is going to take almost just as long as uh, the standard version. It's going to take a little bit less time it looks like. But it's going to be very close. I'm not 100% sold on e-cycles. I'm not sure of everything that's going on with e-cycles to make it more efficient. But I know by the time you fiddle with it so that the images look the same as or very close to the same as they do in the standard version of cycles, you basically it basically takes pretty much just as long to render. So, to, in my opinion, this is just me, and I may not be using it quite right, but these presets over here is pretty much what you're paying for, in my opinion. 
Now, I'm not knocking e-cycles. I mean, in interior scenes, these presets really do come in handy. But see, it took one minute and six seconds. Let's flip between the two and see that they're still a little bit different, but they're more similar. But, I mean, you're still talking only 13 seconds difference. Now, if I put this on... Uh, one of the lower presets, you know, let's just say quick preview. It's going to look totally different, but it's going to be super, super fast. And you see what's going on here. The number of light bounces has changed. That's it. That's the biggest thing that I can see with e-cycles that makes it more efficient. The number of times it has to calculate bounces of light or rays, the quicker or the fewer times it has to calculate those bounces of light, the quicker the render is going to be. And I think that's really all that eCycles is, is doing. Now, if someone understands eCycles better than I do, by all means, please explain it to me. I mean, 10 seconds, but it's unusable unusable because there's not enough uh, light bounces but I wouldn't expect it to be usable because it's just a preview but if you put it on medium which is what I keep it on for the most part whenever I'm using e-cycles I mean you're talking what was it 30 seconds something like that and the quality is still in my opinion with a set to medium in almost every circumstance, medium is an appropriate setting. And with a set to medium, it is significantly quicker than, you know, the standard version of cycles. I mean, you're talking almost a minute quicker. But anyway, I just want to make that quick comparison. And if anyone knows how, exactly how eCycles works and they can explain it better, by all means, please leave a comment. I guess that's it. Later, people.